Hi, I'm Hideo Date, a jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is blues guitar lesson number five. If you haven't seen the previous videos on lesson number one, two, three, four, please watch those videos first. Um, today uh, we're going to work on the harmony shuffle. So let's tune up. Um, I'm going to play from high E string to low E string. So those notes are a um, 432 heart tuning. And then uh, let's uh, double check with the uh, open position E chord. And the G chord and open position. So let's start working on E7 chord. Um, the regular shuffle and E7 would be This type of um, just a two note shuffle, but we're going to expand to to this. So we have a, a open strings and also the G strings is added. So let me go through that three different shapes. The first one is E7 shape, uh, 0, 2, 0, 1, and 0, 0. The next one is 0, 4, 0, 2, 0, 0. And the last shape is 0, 5, 0, 4, 0, 0. And those um, three shapes you can strum from the E string to the high E string. There's no wrong notes. This means um, you can pick any notes out of those three shapes. So, okay, let's take a look on A7 chord. A7 chord has different shapes. First one is skip 0, 2, 0, 2, 0. And the second shape would be 0, 4, 0, 3, 0. And the last shape would be 0, 5, 0, 5, 0. And also this could be picked in many different ways. So I use my fingering, um, not always the same, but first the second finger and the first finger. And the ring finger takes over, then the uh, index finger is still there, and the kind of ring finger leading to the fifth fret. And then this one, a semitor, ring finger takes over here, then leading up to the fifth fret. And let's take a look in the right hand picking. Uh, most of the basic um, way is pinch everything with thumb on the sixth string and they put the three finger together and play an A, D, G string. And please make sure you can do that. And then adding the high strings, um, especially um, G, B, E string, and end of each beat. sound bigger and also you get arpeggio that one I just pick uh, a string in set so that um, people can hear the moving bass sound when you do the same thing on a7 chord um, it sounds a little bit too high, so I include that um, low A open string. And the B chord, um, we use a very simple form, the B7 chord. 
uh, skip two four two four, and I do the only the pinky moving up to fifth fret. It's gonna sus four, and then connect to the A seven chord again. And the B7 chord, if you want to be um, kind of similar sound to A7, E7, then we could do it here. So that's a different position. Um, 7th fret thumb playing at the 7th fret E string, and a 9th fret A string, and then uh, skip the D string, and uh, place that second finger on A fret G string. And that's the first stroke. And then next one would be seven, skip, six, skip, five. And just don't play the open string in this case. And a seven, skip, seven, a uh, seven, skip, skip, seven. So you have two different positions this position and those positions. So if you play, just don't play the open D string. So there's two different ways. You can uh, play the same on the A chord. Or going to the open string. I think this sound is more open. Is a little bit closed, but it has a similar sound to the B7. So, those are the harmonic shuffle in the, for each chord in the key of E. Um, e chord has this shape, and the second shape is like this, and third shape like this, and A chord has a different shape to start, and the second shape is like this, and the third shape would be like this. And make sure you can strum all the strings, and their sounds are just a fine, no wrong notes. Try on the A sevens. So B is a compromise, um, we just play the sus4 here, or without open string, then this position. This way, so you can just use your thumb for the bass note, and two finger here. So my fingering is thumb, ring finger, and second finger. Going to the thumb, second finger, index finger, and thumb, ring finger, and pinky. So first, make sure you play um, right hand uh, in the most basic form, just a pinching with the. Um, low four strings. Then add the high three strings on end. An A chord is to put the thumb on the fifth string, A string, and the three other D, G, B string. kind of difficult because you can't really put the three finger together just to skip the D string and then skip the G string here no skipping here okay so this blues guitar lesson number five we worked on harmony shuffle and then 
Let me play it very, very slow so you can just play along. once in a while I play that kind of triplet feel in between. Okay, that was a harmony shuffle in E. Um, these are great sound and you can play in many different ways, so please keep on experimenting with them. So, if you have learned anything from today's lesson, please consider contributing some amount to my PayPal account below. I would really appreciate your support. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching today's lesson and I will see you again in lesson number six.